function describes a relationship between two sets. So before we define a function, we have to have two non-empty sets. Let's call them x and y. A function from x to y is then a rule that assigns to each element x of the set x one and only one element y of the set y. Let's look at the example. Suppose the set X consists of the elements A, B, C, D and the set Y consists of the elements P, Q, R and S. Then we can make the following assignment. To A we can assign P, to B we can assign P, to C we can assign R and to D we can assign Q. To every element of the set X I assign one and only one element of the set Y. Now I can enter here uh, generic element X in the set X and generic element Y in the set Y and assign to that X Y. The elements of the set X are often called inputs. So in this case, we can say that the inputs are the elements A, B, C, D and X. The elements of the set Y associated with the sum element of X are called the outputs. So the outputs here are going to be P, R, Q and Y. Now why are they called inputs and outputs? It is often useful to visualize the function as a machine that takes on uh, X's as inputs and returns uh, y as the output. Now I always uh, like to refer to the function as a vending machine. So here is my machine. In comes the input. The rule is performed. So something is done here to the x and out comes the y which is the output. Values of x are often called uh, independent variables and the y since depends on x are called dependent variable. Often y is called also the value of the function at x. Uh, because we can have many such assignments between two sets x and y, then to differentiate between those different assignments, we give the names to the functions. And those names can be of different form. Traditionally, they are single letters F, G, H, um, but you can also name, have longer um, names like sign or later on you see log or even the full um, uh, word like floor which is used in uh, computer science. Um, so if I denote my function in the original example by f, uh, then we can say that um, um, function f assigns to the element a the element p of the other set. Now this is a lot of writing to say that to uh, a we assigned p, so the shortcut to that is to write that P is F of A. That means P is the value of function, the value of F at A. This is very useful notation because um, we can e easily or uh, quickly identify input with outputs and via what function those inputs and outputs are connected. Now one more definition, the definition of the domain and range. Domain of the function is the set of all inputs and the range of the function is the set of all possible outputs. So if I'm using um, inputs here that were listed in this original example, this is the domain. We'll shortly write the domain of the function because we have its name and the set consisting of elements P, R, Q and Y. This is the range of the function. So we'll shortly write R, F.